Hello, my gorgeous friends on the internet. How are you all doing? Welcome to another exciting tutorial. Today, we'll be looking at how to create WhatsApp status saver for Android. Yeah, so uh, we are going to focus on Android uh, for this development. I think in the next uh, series, we are going to look at uh, iOS. So uh, today, we are going to look at uh, the various features, the various dependencies that will be needed to create this WhatsApp status saver. So I've tried to uh, simplify everything. And I've come up with a, a complete list of what will be needed and the features that will be required. So uh, this was our status saver for Android. So the features that we are expecting from this video and which you guys will also be learning, it's uh, we're going to learn how to uh, see view images. So once we fetch the image, uh, the status from the user's device, we are going to display the image and you'll be able to view the image and also the videos. Yeah, that the user viewed like their statuses in the app then secondly they'll be able to download it yeah to their local storage they will be able to share the image and maybe they want to upload it back to whatsapp status or you want to upload it to any other person yeah so you have the ability to share the image and also we'll be able to share the video as well then uh thirdly we'll be able to play the video so we'll be using some video player and chillway dependency to make that possible and then lastly you see how to convert image to pdf and we'll also print the image as well okay so that's basically all we're going to be doing uh for this application so that's basically the whole future so it's more like a simplified app but you guys are going to learn a lot okay so uh, for dependencies, I'll be using path provider. So this will give us access to the user's uh, external directory so that we can actually f uh, get the WhatsApp path and then do whatever we want to do with the image. Then secondly, we need the permission handler because we cannot just access users' uh, local storage without their permission. So we need to request for permission first before accessing that. Then uh, thirdly is the image gallery saver. So this one will help us to save the user's image or videos to their local storage. Okay. And then we have a video player and it will be used to play the videos. We also have Chewy also be used. I will combine both of them together to play the video for us. All right. And then we have provider. We all know provider is a state management package. And uh, yeah, I'll be using it. I uh, think but I won't really go in depth into it. But some part of it, the app, I'm going to be using provider. So just stay tuned. You guys are going to learn how it's been used. Yeah. And uh We'll be using share plus uh, share plus to share the images to the user's uh, uh, status or wherever and i think there's another dependency that we're going to be using which is flutter native api but we're just going to see if this share plus does not give us what we want then we can switch to flutter native api uh yeah to actually send video to whatsapp status okay i don't really know if this share plus actually send video but we're going to see that bit okay and then thumbnails which is the last one i think uh, it's going to be used to render the thumbnail once we fetch the video from the user's directory we are going to use this thumbnail dependency to actually get the thumbnail image from the video and then display it to user all right so that's basically all we need for this video uh, all we need for this app to be ready all right so uh, you can actually go ahead and publish it to play store or app store if we get the app store on if we get the apple on all right but you can publish it to a play store there's no restriction yeah it's very possible so uh you guys uh in the next bit i'm going to uh be creating some wireframe of how the ui is going to look like uh, i think it's just going to be four screens or five screens but after now i'm going to create it in the next video see you guys stay tuned and do not forget to subscribe hit the subscribe button